It makes wise the simple. I love this. The word simple is used a lot in Proverbs, and it, it has a very basic meaning. The Hebrew language is more concrete than Greek. Greek is a little bit more esoteric, a little bit more philosophical. Hebrew is very concrete, very objective, kind of very down to earth. And simple, basically the root meaning of it is open door, open door, sometimes translated naive. The Word takes the naive, unexperienced, undiscerning, uninformed person and makes that person wise. Now what does an open door have to do with being simple? It is a perfect illustration of simplicity or stupidity. It's having a mind that is always open. Everything comes in, everything goes out, because you don't know when to shut the door. A simple-minded person is an utterly undiscerning person. You have a door on your house, right? You don't go to bed at night and leave it open because that door discriminates what you allow to enter into the house. You hear people say, I have an open mind. Shut it, would you please? <laughs> There's nothing more stupid than having an open mind. Well, I am an agnostic. Oh. Oh, do you know the Latin word for agnostic? Ignoramus. <laughs> I haven't heard anybody say, I'm an ignoramus. <laughs> shut the door. But how do you know when to shut the door? How do you know what to keep out, what to let in? How do you know to fulfill Psalm 1, not to sit in the seat of scoffers? Not to go to some school somewhere and sit there with an open mind and let people pour lies and deception into your head. Not to go to a church where the same thing is going on. Mastering the art of living is what the word wise means. It's a Hebrew word, shakham. It's not wise sort of in the Greek sense, which again is esoteric and a little bit mystical and, and sort of intellectual. Wise shakam means skilled in living, skilled in living. So here, the Word of God, the revelation of God Himself is trustworthy to take an ignorant, simple-minded person without discernment and make that person skilled in holy living. 